These plants are known as the rubber tree or ficus elastica. And I believe that comes from the fact that its white sap can be made into rubber. Now you've probably seen this plant before too. It is quite a favorite house plant for many, many years. I know my mother has one that she's had for years, maybe the only plant she's had for years, and it's very tolerant. In the summer she puts it outside in the shade, and in the winter she keeps it in a corner of her family room. And even though it's in that lower light, it seems to do just fine as long as she puts it outside for the summer. My recommendation for light with the rubber plants is to give them some direct sun, although they are quite tolerant of less light. In fact, for a while, I knew many people thought of them as a low-light plant. I personally would not classify them as a low-light plant, although they do tolerate bright indirect light. But if you put them in front of a sunny window, they will be a gorgeous plant. And they do have beautiful leaves. They're just nice, thick, leathery, green leaves, as you can see. And they do tend to grow up more and more and become a tree. Now here you can see there's a new leaf starting to come out. When you go to look for a plant, or just about any plant, it's always good to look for new growth. It's a good sign that that's a plant that you should buy. As far as the watering goes, they like to dry out quite a bit. Unlike other ficuses, this ficus likes to sit on the dry side. Now these two I have in 10 inch pots and I would let them dry out a good couple inches down below the soil line. And when they get that dry, you can give them up to two quarts of water if you've got them in this size. And they really are another plant that should do very well in the house, especially if you give it some good light. I also wanted to mention at this time that many plants are very good at keeping the air clean in your home and in your office. And these rubber trees can grow to be enormous plants. They can be wonderful air cleaners. So don't forget about that when you're deciding on what you need for your home. Plants will definitely help out your environment as well as beautify it. And the other thing, of course, it's got those big leaves. Don't forget to dust.